Hello everyone, what's up? It's Dolly and welcome to my channel. So today's video is a little bit different than my other videos I have up on this channel because I'm going to be attempting to do some trendy Pinterest hairstyles. And what I mean by trendy Pinterest hairstyles is I basically just went onto Pinterest and I searched up cute hairstyles and I sort of just found these five hairstyles. The only thing is I'm not very good at doll hair. So I'm gonna use this as a little bit of a disclaimer. I'm terrible at hair. This is gonna be a very messy video. Most of these styles will probably turn out looking awful, but I still do think this is gonna be a fun video to attempt to do, especially since I want to get better at doing my doll's hair. So with that intro out of the way, I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's get started with the first hairstyle. Okay, so let's get on into the first look. This is my model right here. This is the doll I'm using. I'm actually really excited for this. This hairstyle is so cute and it seems simple enough, but we are just gonna have to see. Every single hairstyle I found, I'm just sort of eyeballing and I have no clue what I'm doing. So I apologize if this is a little bit messy. And also if anyone who actually knows how to do this hairstyle is watching and just like, that's not how you do it. I'm sorry, <laughs> okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do, like I always do with my doll's hair before I attempt to do it, is just spray it with some water and also just all throughout these clips you're gonna see her moving constantly because I'm I'm low-key gonna have to like pull her really close to me to get some of this to work so I just went on ahead and I parted her hair I have this bit right here along with this bit right here and I just sort of put this up into a ponytail my main concern about this hairstyle is that in the picture it seems to lie very flat like she's able to do a high ponytail and it all falls down we'll have to see how good I can get because it is doll hair and it kind of will stand up depending on how you style it hopefully I can get it pretty close to the picture because their hair in that picture looks absolutely amazing so I've gone and I've parted the hair I did a little bit of the bang like they have in the picture now I'm gonna attempt to do the ponytail I'm so nervous I'm not quite sure how this is gonna go because we have this hair in the back plus this hair on the top we're gonna try and see how it goes a few moments later okay so like I said earlier I put it up in a ponytail and because it's doll hair it sort of just stands up um, if it went down like this that would really help me I think the only way to probably get that to happen is with a little hot water rinse but I don't really feel like you know doing that so instead of doing that I ended up um, taking a band and just tying it like that it looks terrible I'm not quite sure what I was expecting it is doll hair but it's here here, you know this is what it looks like not my best one so far which is bad because this is you know my first attempt but we'll see hopefully I can figure something out you know throughout the rest of this video uh, overall this hairstyle that I did looks super janky and kind of like trash hopefully I can not fail as badly as I did with this one for my second hairstyle Okay, so here's my model for hairstyle number two. I had to dig around my bin to find it all with the middle part. Uh, so her hair's a little bit messy. This hairstyle seems like it'll be relatively easy, but so did the other one and we saw how that went. So hopefully I can actually do it this time around. For this one, I'm gonna be using these fun colored hair bands since I don't even have to try and hide the rubber bands for this one. So I'm actually really excited about that. So let's just get started. Okay, so I've started with parting the hair into three different parts to help and not get hair hopefully in the way during this process and these are what the two in the front look like she looks a mess but you know what we're gonna keep trying <laughs> um so here's what my first attempt looks like i might give myself a couple because uh this is what it looks like and from the front <laughs> it looks like that and there's no way that's what it's supposed to look like <laughs> let me go on and see uh if i can fix it with this one uh, so this is what it looks like from the front so far uh and so it looks like from the back <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. To be perfectly honest, I think in the picture they had clips in their hair, so that probably is gonna make things a little different, but I just feel like it shouldn't look this much worse. Like, I feel like I should be able to get it to look a little bit better than this, please. Okay, so here we are. This is what the final outcome is. To be perfectly honest, I feel like it's probably about as good as I could get it without using clips like it seems like they did in the picture. I think it's fine. The front uh, is a little iffy. You know, you take your picture of your doll from the back, it looks okay. This is just a little tricky. I don't know, like I feel like we're gonna have a bunch of flops, but that's why trying is in all caps in the title because I really don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I'll do a couple more of these where I like hopefully improve as I go, but this one is okay. Anyways, let's move on to look number three. 
Okay, and here is the model for look number three. Actually, I just noticed this is a middle part look, so let me help myself out a little bit. <laughs> Let's replace it with this one. Okay, we'll use her instead. She has a middle part. Hopefully I can make this work. This one, I really think I could maybe make work. I really hope I can. <laughs> so I think that it's like a half up, half down look, almost like the last look, but different. I'm really nervous. I'm not quite sure how this is gonna go. So let me get started with sectioning this out. Okay, so I have the hair parted into three different sections, this back ponytail, and then these two right here in the front. Hopefully I can make this work. Let's get started with the first one. And also I would film like what I'm doing, but like most of the footage would just be my hands. Like you wouldn't even really be able to see the doll. <laughs> oh my God. Eee. I'm definitely not gonna be able to film like that. So the first one is up and immediately we have doll hair. <laughs> So it's not really sitting down the way I need it to, which is, you know, upsetting, but also expected. Hopefully I can make it work. However, this first half looks okay. And it's actually pretty close to the picture, or at least as close as I can get it with the doll's head. Maybe I should push it back more. I'm not quite sure, but let me go and see if I can get this other one to be even. So I got these two to be almost even. This one is too far forward, but they look like this right here and here we go this is the hairstyle this one is probably the best i would rate this an 8 out of 10 i think it's relatively okay especially considering how all the other ones went this one's definitely my favorite so far like look at it she actually looks cute too which i'm really happy about okay so actually i feel like this one turned out pretty good so i think it's about time that i move on to my fourth hairstyle This is my model for this hairstyle. I've actually seen this hairstyle everywhere. I've wanted to do this little bubble thing with my doll's hair for the longest time. I'm not quite sure about how to do it. Like I'm not quite sure about how to do the rest of all these hairstyles. Um, and I didn't look it up because that would take some of the fun out of this video. You know, I feel like some of the fun is just me not knowing what I'm doing. So hopefully I can figure it out. Um, my last one kind of gave me a little bit of confidence, probably confidence that I shouldn't have because it's not like it really turned out all that great. But but still a little bit of confidence. So let's get right on in to this one. This doll I'm using literally has so much hair. Like her hair is so, so long. I don't know why I picked her. I just kind of wanted to use her. <laughs> Probably gonna add extra stress because now I gotta figure out how to work with all of this. So here's my section. I sort of left this one completely undone in the front. And then there's this one on the side to just keep some of the hair out of the way. I now I'm just gonna sort of flip it over and then I'm gonna tie it to the back. And then I guess we'll start trying to make the little bubble things. Hopefully this goes well. So I have this first band into the hair and it looks like this. So now we can start putting in some different colored ones. I wanted to use a bunch of different colors in this because I figured this was probably gonna be the perfect time to do that. So let's just get started. So here it is and it looks like this. I feel like the thing I'm gonna wanna do is like something like that. Does that, is that bubbly enough? Should I try and pull at it a little bit? Um, if I like pull at it like that, is this too bubbly? Something like that. Like, is that okay? I think it is. Okay, let's let's try and put in another one. Also, this is a hairstyle that I can hopefully film a little bit while I actually do it. The other ones have been quite a struggle. This whole video has been a little bit messy, but you know, I sort of just wanted to do this. It was such a random idea. And now here we are, you know? Okay, here we have it. Let me pull, Ooh, it's already lopsided. <laughs> I've gone and I've jacked it up now. Now it's too much of a bubble. <laughs> Oh no! Okay, so I think I fixed it a little bit. So now I'm just gonna go on ahead and do all the other colors. I'm surprised with how well this is going. Thank God, because the first two were truly a nightmare. One hour later. Okay, so here it is. I feel like if I did a side by side, it would actually still look pretty decent. I'm actually pretty happy with this one. I didn't go all the way down, uh, so it kind of looks a little ugly, but you know, the few that I did do are a little lopsided, a little, you know, janky, but they're not the worst ever, especially for my first attempt at doing the whole bubble hair thing. I think it turned out pretty cute. The front of it isn't even that bad. It's actually pretty cute in the front. And the back is actually pretty cute. I'm pretty happy with this one. I think that this one and my last one turned out looking pretty decently and I'm pretty happy about that. So now let's move on to our fifth and final hairstyle. And then we are done with this. So 
So this is my model for my fifth and final hairstyle. This one might be another one where the fact that I'm using dolls is probably going to be a little bit of an issue. It has braids and I find that with doll hair, like if you do two braids, they're really, really thick and just not really realistic. And you know, if you saw anything in the picture, the braids are kind of thin. It's just not going to be thin braids. So I just feel like it's kind of going to look wonky no matter what I do. But I still want to try because I literally love this hairstyle and I think that it is so adorable. So I just really want to give it a shot, even if I know it's not going to turn out exactly like the picture. So let's get started with sectioning it because I need to do a half and half section. Okay, so I only put this one into the ponytail and uh, you know, it, it, it's a it's a ponytail, I guess. So I'm just gonna get started with braiding this. I really don't think this is gonna turn out looking right. <laughs> okay, so the first half is braided. It's not even that bad. Now onto this half. I think another reason why this hairstyle might flop is also because I'm working with a completely different hair texture. Like this is a completely different hair material. It's like that grassy one. It's just not my favorite, but this doll was so cute. So I just didn't really care. <laughs> so let me go on and try and put my second braid into this other half okay so now both braids are in how am I going to do this like for real this bit on the end is just um this bit on the end is just so much it doesn't even look right like that that's what I mean it's just too thick it's just too thick but let me try something and we'll see We'll try and do our best. I knew this would flop from the beginning and it flopping is no surprise. Let me try and see what I can do because it looks a little bit crazy and I just feel like it is gonna look a little crazy no matter what I do. Guys, this is so funny. I bent it to put it in and it's just sitting all on its own. Ah! And look, she has a little bird moment happening. Isn't that exciting? This is going great, guys. So here we go. This is what it looks like from the front. If I had the bows, I feel like it would look really cute. I kind of wish I had them and uh, this is the back. Overall, it's kind of a disaster, but I do think it looks relatively cute from the front. It's probably as close as I could get with my limited skills. As you guys know from watching this entire video, I'm not good at doll hair. <laughs> so I did what I could do. She looks a mess. Anyways, so with all that being said, I'm going to use the doll with my favorite hair, this one, and I'm going to use this as a doll for my outro. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of a little less structured than the rest of my other ones, but that's okay. I had fun making this. I thought it was pretty exciting. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to join the dolly squad, and be sure to hit that bell so you never miss the next time that I upload. And with all that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.